that we're satisfied with the contact us and footer, let's go ahead and continue to modify the book online page. So from our pages, we click book online. And now what you can do is click the box right here and then click on manage bookings. On this page, you can basically change everything that's listed here. They've already preset nails, hair, facial, but obviously those categories don't apply to a yoga site. So we're going to delete the category up here at the top on the right. And you can delete this category. Go up here and add a service if you need to. But for now, let's go ahead and edit this category and change where it says hair to say general. And now we can click on the edit button on this row right here and we can change it to whatever we want. Let's say I'm going to click the title and type in TRX workout. TRX workout. And to the right of that, you see that it's going to be in the general category. It's already there because we changed the only category that is available. Now we're going to click on photo and we can choose one for this example. We can even put a description, but for now, this looks pretty nice. We can go ahead and change how many hours this workout is and other details. So I'm just going to add the numbers and how about we make it a 50 minute workout. So I'm going to save this service right here and now I can do the same for the rest of the lessons. Let's go back and how about we say weight loss. And again, same thing, we're going to add a photo. And once we make our selection, we can save this service. You can change anything you want, it's that easy. Now let's make the next category, edit that and change that to muscle tone. And I'm going to change it to this picture. And then I'm going to save and I'm going to indicate that I'm going to charge $20 in person or on my website. I can adjust all these things depending on my business. I'm going to click save service. And now what we're going to do is just click X and see the changes. Now, as you can see, all the pictures that we put are not there. That's because we need to go up here and click on settings. Got it. Now what Wix basically gives me is the business calendar, but we don't need that right now. The only thing that we really need is not in this section. So X out of it. And what you want is this area right here. I can have a picture in a square image or in round like so. I can even change the grid if I want to, making it look like this, which is really nice, or in a classic design like this. I think strip is really nice, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show it this way. It's done. Let's go ahead and click the design tab so that we can change the font so it will match the entire site. So you simply scroll and choose Helvetica. Once again, you can choose any font you like. It doesn't really matter as long as you're satisfied with the final result on your website. Great. You can click General Design and then click here. Helvetica as well. Let's just change it right here. You can change this as well, and you can see the changes instantly because Wix makes it easy for you to see the changes in real time. 
So we're going to choose Helvetica here as well. And then once that's in place, we're going to move on to change the button background like so. Click color and then I'm changing this one to blue. Great, now I can make the links a different color. I can change them to purple like this one here. And then I can change the field border. I can change the field text, whatever. It's really that simple. Let's move on to the text tab and we'll see that it says button text, book now. I want to say join now with a little arrow on top. Let's type that in, join now with the arrow, and then we're going to see if it changes. Great. Things are looking good so far. So I'm, not, I'm just going to go back and look at the title of our category. You're going to see that it's matching the shade of our template. So on page design, choose selected category text and let's change that to purple. Great. Okay, so now that we're finishing this up, we can basically click here at the title and change our services, edit text to a different font, and let's choose Helvetica again. Once I do that, I'll use the slider to make it smaller, and I'm going to put it in bold but not italic. Great, we're almost done. We just need to make these little changes. I'm going to move this a little bit. And all I have to do after this is get this background looking a little better to match the rest of our site. Let's click on Change Image Background. And choose an image. Hmm. I'm not happy that you can't see the person. So I'm just going to play around with it a little bit and see if we can get the layout adjusted so that we can see the, the person in the image. Hmm. Just bear with me a bit. Let's get this looking a little better. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go back and click Change Strip Background. and choose something else because I can't get this to look right. So again, very simple. You're just going to go back to change strip background and then just pick something else. Let's say this one. Done. There we go. Just resize it a little bit. And we're done. Great job.